Happy World Migratory Bird Day, guys. We've got the old virtual birding gear on, and in honor of this day, I thought it might make sense to uh, take you guys on a little walk around the yard, and I can show you guys a few things you can do to help out migratory birds in your own backyard. Let's go. One of the things you can do to help out migratory birds is put up birdhouses. Um, some folks call them nesting boxes or birdhouses. Um, it's the same thing. Uh, and basically, by just building your own birdhouse, you can attract a whole swath of different birds. Many of the birds that will come to your birdhouse and use it might be resident species, but you could also get some migrant species. So, resident species that would use a birdhouse in the yard would be things like chickadees, titmice, um, nuthatches, um, and then uh, for migrant species you could get things like uh, bluebirds, house wrens, um, all kinds of stuff will come to a birdhouse. So um, just by putting that out and following directions as to proper placement, um, you can actually get a whole bunch of things and what, what better way to help out birds than by providing them with a place to live. Um, a lot of the reasons that people don't have success with attracting birds to their birdhouses are because of the placement of the box itself. Um, if you put it in a spot that isn't really appropriate for the birds that could use it, um, you're probably not going to have anyone move in. Um, it's a lot like a bird feeder, you need to provide cover. If you put a bird feeder in the middle of nowhere uh, with no cover around, the birds aren't really going to want to use it either. So, um, yeah, but that's an easy way that you can actually help out birds, just putting a bird box in. This one right here has a pair of chickadees that have just started building a nest in it. So we're going to leave it alone. Another way you can help out birds, migratory birds in particular, is by planting flowering trees. This time of year, uh, early spring, when these trees are flowering, they're full of insect food. Um, tons of little caterpillars and everything else um, and a lot of species like the new arrival Baltimore Orioles but also things like uh, northern Perula will actually specialize on picking insects out of flowers um, so by having a flowering tree like this crab apple here um, there goes an Oriole right now um, you can actually uh, attract all kinds of things to your yard So you'll see here that it's the beginning of May, coming towards the middle of May, and I've still got suet out. Now, typically I wouldn't really feed birds through the breeding season, um, and I still don't plan on doing that, uh, only because I prefer that birds find sort of natural food for their young. But if you might be able to tell from the sound here, it's very cold and windy right now, and they're even predicting snow in some places uh, over the next day or so. Uh, that means that a lot of the birds that just came back have a threat of sort of getting shocked by the cold. Um, they might not be able to find insect food very readily. Uh, so by providing a little bit of a buffer for the, the just inherent randomness of weather these days, um, you can actually help out migratory birds as well. So I suspect over the next couple days we'll get some uh, interesting migrants like maybe these Orioles actually using this suet for food uh, if they can't find anything else right now. Well, I hope that was informative in some way for you. If you got any questions, feel free to send them along and uh, let us know what kind of birds you got visiting your yard. Thanks.